good noontime. All right, I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this video, but it's nothing important. But um, I was hoping that I'd get some coax shield because one of the suggestions by one of my viewers is that I could just get some coax shield and make my own solder wick. Well, that's a great idea. The problem is, all right, let's take a walk over here. Over here, there used to be a tree, long gone. Matter of fact, you can just rot it and lay down and nothing left to it now. And this is where I used to have my two meter um, hem antenna. And if you look down here, this is what's left of RG8 that I just cut off about half hour ago. And this is RG59. And it is in a um, PVC pipe that is underground. And I buried many years ago, and it went right under the house. And at that time, I had a two-meter rig in the bedroom where the computer desk is. I had it there, but that was before I had... Um, an actual good computer. I just had an IBM Model 50 at that time. Uh, but anyways, uh, and the antenna was on a tree which had fallen. The, actually, the antenna in the top of the tree fell over and it crushed the swing set which I made. I don't know if I made any videos on it. Back in the early 2000s, I guess, probably maybe late 90s, early 2000. So, the RG8 was curled up. I should have made a video of it. It was all curled up under the ground here. I pulled it out from under the ground. It was never removed from the tree other than just rolled up in a little coil and everything just got covered up. So I figured, well, maybe I can use the shield from that. And this is what was cut off right here. It's RG8, but it was a, um, not a great quality coax that I bought way back in the 90s from a place in Westerly, Rhode Island called Ocean State electronics I believe I don't even know if they're around anymore and uh, so I cut a couple pieces off and I also on the RG 59 this is Belden I cut a couple of pieces off of that I'll take you in the shed in the shop and show you what that stuff looks like now Air conditioner's on low. First of all, this is what the so-called copper looks like now on the RG59. It's not even copper colored. It won't take solder. It looks like aluminum, but it, it originally was copper because I used have a whole roll of this stuff and I've used it many years ago when I lived in New London and ran this stuff down through the wall to connect the televisions up to the cable box and to the VCR. I also stripped out the RG8 this is what it looks like inside. This is the shield after flattening it out. Took my pen here and just flattened it all out. And that would have made a good soldering, desoldering braid. But it's kind of like damp, wet. So water got inside the jacket, I guess. Here's two more pieces that I cut off of the big roll that you see out, saw outside there. 
and it's not even copper colored anymore so over here you might be able to see something in there there's a little hint of solder but it don't stick to it it behaves like this is aluminum but it's not originally this was copper colored so I put the flux on there and tried to get solder to take and it will not take on this so using coax shield from this stuff is not going to work I was hoping I'd have some nice big solder wick so for getting those transistors off of that trip light PR 60 power supply so we're back to square one on that so I'm not going to even attempt to pull that supply back onto the bench again it's just not worth it now this I got from Banggood a couple of years ago the only time I ever ordered from Banggood because I never liked the way they uh, they charge you for postage even though it says free shipping so I won't deal with them anymore but this is the only item I've ever bought from Banggood and it's one of these pumpers okay I have not tried this on that power supply but I can tell you right now it's just not going to do it I need a steady suction now if this gets full you can't empty it the instructions had a, it came on a little paper card it said to unscrew this this can be spun all day long and it does not unscrew it turns kind of hard but it does not come out so you cannot if this gets clogged filled up in other words um, might as well throw it out it's not all that expensive so I'm back to square one with uh, trying to get those transistors off and then I'd have to still go out and buy the transistors too and I think what I'm gonna do it's it's sitting down here on the floor right there so um, unless I come up with something before the ham auction and I don't see that happening I need a I need a, uh, a desoldering station and that's the bottom line that's what you need to get this off or some real copper braid this somehow I don't know what happened to it but it was originally copper colored the same with the RG 58 uh, 59 that was copper colored originally because I worked with this stuff many many times putting connectors on it when I was living in New London and making um, you know putting the F fittings on and everything else and this was nice shiny carp copper originally because this has been in the ground or on the ground this is what happens to it I guess so the center conductor of the RG8 looks like a number 10 solid but even that copper is kind of greenish uh, and whitish it's pretty crappy looking this is some kind of an aluminum shield here such as it is and this was over it it was round I just flattened it out so my methods of uh, trying to use shielding from uh, coax well I gave it a try but I just don't have it I don't have any more coax left over from this it's all been used up so I don't have that either the only thing I have is stranded wire and that's going to be awful wasteful trying to use that so I think uh, that's pretty hopeless as far as that's concerned so we'll probably just forget about trying to take out those transistors on that power supply
because I just don't have the desoldering equipment for it. So, <clears throat> simple as that. So we gave it a try. I did, uh, you know, I've been thinking about this. But this somehow looks like aluminum now, but I really, I know this was copper. Um, leastwise, I'm pretty sure this, this was copper at one time. But it is, it is moist a little bit. Not dripping wet, but it is moist. And so water has gotten down inside the uh, RG8 throughout all these years. Don't forget that's been in the ground now for almost 20 years. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to give you this little update.